Chinese local media reporting hospitals are overwhelmed by a mysterious pneumonia that's spreading among kids that started back in May but wasn't reported to international bodies until now. Even U.S. Ambassador to Japan, Rahm Emanuel, is sounding the alarm, posting in, on X, quote, China's recent pneumonia outbreak raises serious questions. It's time to abandon COVID deception and delays as transparent and timely information saves lives. Joining us now to discuss is Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Nicole Sapphire. Uh, Dr. Sapphire, so great to see you and happy Thanksgiving uh, to you and your family. So what do you make of this? Because I don't trust the Chinese, but I also don't trust our government, <laughs> which was you know, funding the experiments that led to the outbreak break of COVID um, back at the Wuhan lab. Well, we don't have time to unpack all of that, Rachel, but I it know. is feeling a little bit like deja vu. You have ProMed, <laughs> the disease surveillance system, who's sounding the alarm again, mentioning that there is a rise in pediatric pneumonia hospitalizations in northern China, especially since October, compared to the last several years. Now, again, Rachel, this is kind of emulating what we saw in the United States, the UK, and other places last year in countries who removed some of those harsh lockdown restrictions earlier than China. We had this large immunity gap where people, especially children's immune systems were damp dampened from those COVID lockdowns and other restrictive measures. So we saw a rise in hospitalizations and just outpatient cases of the usual suspects, RSV, influenza, adenovirus, and mycoplasma pneumonia. Now, China is saying it is those usual suspects, those common pathogen that's th that are causing their rise in illness in northern China. The problem is, Rachel, as you said it, uh, we don't trust China. China, the World Health Organization, they were deceitful when it came to COVID-19. And while ProMed alert started alerting the world in the beginning of December, maybe even the end of November 2019, it wasn't until January 30th that the World Health Organization declared a state of emergency when 115 cases were already documented outside of China. The easy thing for China to do right now is to show the lab results that confirm that these are just the normal pathogens and they're just having the uptick because of that immunity gap, because at this point they need to regain trust for anyone to believe them. But we also need to regain trust in our own government and their response to something like this. So we have, have held no one accountable. Um, none of the health bureaucrats, starting with Dr. Fauci himself, has been held accountable for having lied to the American people and withholding information. And so here we are with another potential outbreak. And I think the American people, I certainly know as a mom, I don't trust any of these people, not the WHO, not the Chinese, but frankly, I don't think that anyone's learned their lesson in our government because no one's been held accountable. No, I agree with you. There hasn't been an urgency to hold people accountable. We've had a plethora of hearings, but there has actually been no action right. to make sure that people are punished for their misdoings. But all I can say as a mother, you know this as well, the best we can do is to try and live our happiest and healthiest lives. And that's making sure our kids are getting good physical activity, good nutrition, and you as an individual decide what is right for your child going into these fall and winter months. There's always going to be a rise in infections. So try to keep them as healthy as possible um, to prepare because every Everyone's going to get sick. It just happens. Well, I think that's excellent advice. And I think coming out of COVID, that was one of the things that we learned, that the healthier you were, the more you got physical activity, the more you got vitamin D and we're outside and, and we're eating well in order to keep your immunities up, um, that that was helpful in, in fighting off that virus. Um, we'll see what happens in this one. You always give the best advice, Dr. Sapphire. Hope you're doing well. And we want to thank your husband who missed Thanksgiving dinner uh, because he had to go save a life somewhere in a hospital. So um, we love your family and, and just want to thank you for joining us this morning. We love you too. All right, take care. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.